Welcome back to Quick and Loans Arena. More sports than Les Levine. I'm Dave Bacon filling in for Les Levine. We are pleased to be joined by the commissioner of the Mid-American Conference, Dr. John Steinbrecher. Dr. Steinbrecher, always appreciate the time. Uh, it is that week, uh, MAC Tournament Week. Again, uh, just a great week setting up for uh, what will be two bids to the NCAA Tournament. Absolutely, Dave. Welcome to our house. <laughs> you know, four days and 14 games. So an awful lot of basketball and a lot of really, really good basketball. You know, on the, the men's side of it, we're the ninth ranked conference in the country. You know, basically top third, in fact, better than top third. Women's side, we're the seventh ranked conference, top 20, top quartile. Uh, you know what? Yeah, I think we're, we're, we know we have two teams going on. Uh, good Maybe. chance on both sides to have multiple teams going on. And even more importantly, we need to go on and make some noise in the tournament. Well, a year ago, two of the women's teams went to the Sweet 16. Two of them, not only qualified, went to the Sweet 16, both Central Michigan and Buffalo. It's been a really good year. Uh, a lot of successes over a lot of different um, sports. Talk about some of the successes that went on in football. Well, absolutely. You know, really nice football year. Multiple wins over Big Ten teams and an array of other uh, autonomous or what a general public would call them Power Five. I don't <laughs> call them that. I call them autonomous. Uh, five, which is a governance designation in the NCA. You know, when we go into soccer and in Akron had actually our whole league. We were one of the top four yep. soccer conferences in the country, multiple teams in the NCA tournament. Uh, Akron goes on to the College Cup, which is the final four. And I think they've done that, what, three out of the past four, or three out of the past five. You know, it's getting to be a tradition with those folks. And that's, that's nice to see. And it's nice to see how deep we've become as a, in a league in that sport. You know, volleyball, we were deep again. Uh, uh, wrestling, we're, we're a week away from the NCAA Wrestling Championships and we've got 30, I don't know, mid-30s on to the National Championship, have the fifth ranked team in the, in the country. So I, I think what we found is the top teams in virtually all of our sports are among the best teams in the country in whatever that sport is. And you touched on wrestling, some big news is, is you're going to be welcoming in eight new wrestling programs to the Mid-American Conference, making the MAC the second largest wrestling conference in the country. Some thoughts behind doing that and how important that is to you. You know what, we've been uh, an elite wrestling conference for a handful of years now, and by that I mean we're a top three, top four conference year in, year out. Uh, but as we sat here, we, we thought there were a, a handful of schools out there we thought could make us better. But as we looked at that, we thought what that would do to the league they were in. And we didn't want to do anything that in any way hurt other wrestling programs. So we said, let's just bring the whole group in and we'll really have a super conference. And it's kind of the rising tide lifts all boats theory. And what it does is it gives us the best wrestling footprint in the country. We go from essentially Missouri to the East Coast. We're the hotbed of wrestling all through there. Uh, it's, you won't believe the number of interviews I did through the state of Pennsylvania <laughs> when we announced this. I mean, the place went crazy, and that's wonderful. And so I hope we can do some really neat things beyond just the typical great conference tournament. You know, maybe we can roll out a dual meet conference championship as well, some things like that. But what we also expect is, you know, we're going to compete for national championships individually and nationally. Now you also hosted, in conjunction with this building, uh, the wrestling championships and set attendance records right about this year, the, uh, this time last year yes. here at Quicken Loans Arena. Is, is that kind of in the mindset as well? You, you'd like to host nationals again? I, I know the conference has, has done that in conjunction with this building quite a bit. Absolutely. In fact, uh, uh, we will put in, I think the next bid cycle opens up this summer. Uh, yeah, we'll be active on that, and I think will be looked at favorably, as you noted. We set an overall attendance record, we set a single session attendance record, we set a revenue record. It's a great building. We're, we're so fortunate to have Quicken Loans Arena in this community. Great partners with us. We're gonna be hosting first and second round NCAA Men's Basketball Championship next year as well. Uh, let's talk a little bit about swimming and diving. There's another nationally ranked team uh, on the women's side in Akron, and, and they qualified a number of people to the upcoming nationals. And it just seems like they keep raising the bar for the entire conference. That you know, that, that program's turned into a juggernaut. Uh, in the past five years, they've just kind of taken over in terms of women swimming in our league, and good for them. And it, it's a credit to the coaching staff and the institution. And you're absolutely right. And so, yeah, again, that's another one of those sports we really enjoy, and we send a number of individuals on the nationals every year. As you look at 
the conference, you've got to be mindful of everything. How, how pleased are you at how you've grown? And you kind of touched on it. There's a number of teams at the higher levels that are elite, and when that happens, it raises the entire bar for the rest of the conference. Absolutely. I mean, we're in a competitive business. When someone excels, other people want to be at that same level, and it just drives that. You know, we, we offer championships in 23 sports. We do a lot of things. Now, not everybody has every sport, and as a league, we've tried to set some priorities and said, we want to make sure for sure in these X, Y, and Z sports, we're going to be really good, but then let's also have institutional priorities as well. And it's those institutional priorities that drive everybody else as well. So we got some schools that really spend a lot of time on wrestling, but it also drives other people. Soccer, Akron, we know has had a great program, but you look what their, their, the quality of that program has helped drive what's going on in soccer at Bowling Green in Western Michigan. And we can go through virtually every one of our sports like that. How satisfying is it when you sit here and, and watch this tournament and see the quality of play? And you mentioned how highly ranked both the men's and women's are in conference rankings. You have to sit back and say, we're not done yet as well. Well, exactly right. You always want more. But it, it's, it's gratifying to see the uh, hard work and effort by our schools. And it starts with hiring just outstanding coaches. And on both the men's and women's side, we've got some great coaches in this league. And then, you know, they put together good staffs, they recruit well, they X and O, they motivate, they do all those things. And when you put that together, we do some strategic things with scheduling or, or some other stuff, then it all comes together. And, but it starts with people. And our presidents hire good ADs, ADs hire good coaches. 